Okay. Uh, and you can do so many different things. We don't have to substitute in, we don't have to substitute in uh, x squared. We could substitute in some other term, but the effect, you can see the effect of substituting in the x squared term is that we lose all of the odd, we lose all of the odd powers, all of the, all, all of the, the power terms that have, whose x's are basically an odd number. We lose them, they're gone, yeah, by substituting in an in, in x squared term. Uh, other things that we could do, okay, uh, so we can effectively substitute in any term into a power series and actually, just, and actually see what we end up with, okay? So let's say for argument's sake, let's consider another, let's consider another sequence. Uh, let's say we have the sequence of, let's say, even numbers as an example. Okay, so let's say we have the sequence of even numbers. Uh, the sequence of even numbers uh, looks something like this. So we have, let's say, our even numbers. My black marker gone to here it is here. So let's say we have the following sequence. So the following sequence looks like this. It's, let's say, it's two followed by four followed by six, followed by eight, and so on. And we know what its power series is. Once again, there's the first term, the second term, the third, the fourth, okay? Uh, so its power series must be, it's a two plus a four X plus a six X squared plus an eight X cubed plus dot, dot, dot. That's the power series. And in a previous video, we showed that the generating function that's associated with even numbers is simply, well, for the natural numbers, it's one over, it's one over one minus, minus x squared. Uh, and if we multiply all the natural numbers by two, all the natural numbers shift to even numbers. So it's actually two times, so it's actually two over one minus x squared gives us this particular, uh, the generating function for this particular power series, which encodes the even numbers. So once again, let's do, let's do a different type of substitution. Uh, let's say we substitute, substitute, okay, let's say x is equal to 3x as an example, okay? So what we end up with is this particular power series here becomes it's 2 plus 4 times 3x, well, 4 times 3 is 12, so that gives us 12x, okay? Plus 6 times 3x squared, okay? So that's basically 6 times 3x squared. Now, 3x squared is the same as 9x squared. Three, sorry, 3x to be squared is the same as 9x squared. And 6 times 9x squared uh, is going to give us 54x squared, okay? Plus the next term that we have, I probably need to, I probably need here at some stage to grab my calculator to do this particular exponentiation. Okay. So it's plus eight times the three X has to be cubed. So let me write that down there. It's eight times the three X is the substitution for the X, which needs to be cubed. Okay. Now we know that three cubed is 27 and we have 27 multiplied by eight is going to give us 216. So this becomes 216 X cubed. So now what we have is 216 X cubed plus dot, dot, dot. And that must be equal to the generating function that we started with, okay, that's associated with this particular power series, uh, must be equal to that generating function under the substitution where we change the x's to be 3x. So this, the generating function for this particular power series is effectively 2 over 1 minus 3x to be squared. Okay, but what does this encode? Okay, well, we can actually see is all the coefficients so what we can actually see the sequence that this encodes is two followed by a 12, followed by 54, followed by 216, and dot, 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 that particular continues on. So once again, through substitution into a power series that we already know, okay? And also more importantly, who is generating function that we already know, okay? Through substitution into that, we can generate a new power series with its associated generating function. But more importantly, this new power series is an, encoding, is an encoding of some sequence. And in this situation, the sequence that's encoded is 2, 12, 54, and 216. So this particular sequence is associated with this particular power series. And this power series has this generating function 
this generating function. Uh, and I suppose the important thing that I'm really trying to get across here is that we can do this all day long, okay? We can take power series that we already know and who's, who's generating function that we know, and we can make any substitutions we like into them. And what they do is they generate new sequences. But really, where I really want to get to, and this is where the next video uh, or the next set of videos uh, will, will concentrate, uh, is, okay, we can see that we can make all of these changes and we can end up with particular sequences uh, that are associated with them. But say if I start off with a particular sequence, what particular tools can we use to try to generate its, its generating function, if that makes sense? So in a previous video, we concentrated on uh, a basic power series. The power series that we concentrated on was just a constant power series yeah, of constants of ones. Uh, we followed that on by looking at the power series and its generating function, the one that's associated with the, with the natural numbers. In a previous video, we also looked at the even numbers and the odd numbers. And now what we have is we could use them. We're going to try in the, in the next, in the coming up videos to, to try to use these previously generated uh, generating functions to help us to find generating functions that are associated with, with other with other with other sequences, if that makes sense. So we want to reverse this. We want to start with a sequence. We want to try to maybe analyze that particular sequence to see whether any of our familiar generating functions uh, can be found within it. And once we can do that, we can then solve for the generating function that's associated with our new sequence. Okay, guys, uh, once again, uh, this was Jonathan Lambert uh, with Maths and Stats. And I hope that this video was intuitive. And more importantly, I do hope that was helpful for you. And thanks for watching. Okay, bye-bye.